go. Yep. All right, we're back over here at Thurlby's. I sent Ben over last week, unsupervised, with Mike to get the block ready, and they've done a fantastic job. So the block is bored and um, decked here. It is actually ready for the final hone. We were waiting for our pistons. We got pistons in. Now, if you don't know these engines, and I was surprised to see this, so we talked about earlier that the, the mains are insert bearings, the rods are babbit bearings, and the pistons are cast iron, and I was really shocked at that. So anyhow, that's what's kind of unique about this today, but this block is ready to go from, uh, just needs to get back in there for a final hone, final wash, and then we'll get some paint on this. In the meantime, we've been working on the heads. I'm sorry, I should correct myself, head. Here's our cylinder head. It's been sitting in the shop a couple days, so it has a little bit of surface rust on it. But the point is, on these cylinder heads, they're all known to crack. Uh, the, the gambling aspect, whoop, the gambling aspect is basically out of 100, 102 of them crack. And that has shown to be the case in ours as well. Every cylinder has a crack in it, up in the combustion chamber in this tight radius. Now. What this apparatus is, is it's, it's basically where they clamp a seal on there and they can pressurize the uh, water chamber and check it for leaks. Now, I said every cylinder has a crack in it. However, every cylinder has a surface crack on the combustion chamber side. It is not through into the water jacket. So at this point, obviously every crack is gonna get bigger. It never gets smaller. So at some point we will certainly crack into the water jacket, but for what this motor is going to see as far as the amount of miles and time, you know, we might, we might see 10,000 miles on it. That'll be about it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go through all the process. We are gonna put new seats in it. We're gonna put fresh valves in there. We're gonna get it all cleaned up really well, degreased wise in that water jacket section. And then we're gonna put some ceramic sealer into the water jacket. It needs about a week to cure. You kind of move things around um, and, and very well coat that, similar to what's done in like a uh, marine application. And that is how we're going to reutilize these, this particular cylinder head. Um, now also when we go to start this up, and it's running at some point in time, we will put another uh, dose of sealer into the water system and just really coat things up as well. So we're gonna take all the kind of Band-Aid fix, I get it, but given what this motor's going to do and where the cracks are actually at right now, we're pretty confident that we'll be, we'll be fine and not, and not create ourselves an issue. So with that, this head needs to come out of here on over to Mark, gonna put it on the Surdy, get the seats cut, and, uh, and, and set up some new valves in it. Hey, it looks like Mark is really moving here. We've got, uh, He's already got the guides in, um, and, and the seats have been cut. Got fresh seats pressed in, and now he's cutting the ceiling surface on the seats. So, uh, so this head is looking excellent at this point. It only got a couple more to do. Um, at that point, we're gonna degrease it really well, and then he'll have to seal off the surface like on that, on that checker. So once that sealer is dry and drain off all the excess, then we're gonna get our cylinder heads and our block over to the paint booth, get everything painted up nice. The engine is all ready. It is, uh, the block I should say, is all machined. Most of our tin work is all ready. It's also, it's all sandblasted, ready for paint as well. So we are here at Travers Body and Paint to get that done. A couple more pieces like this hung up and wipe everything down and then we can roll all the parts into the paint booth and get that sexy battleship gray on. It's 
time for Jamie to do his thing now and put some color on them. Let's go see what the paint looks like. I like it. I like it. Actually, I like it. All right, so it's looking good. The gray is pretty nice. I have, actually am surprised. So they're going to uh, shoot some clear coat on this in the morning, and then tomorrow afternoon I'll shoot back over and pick up all the parts and get them back over to our shop. Nice, that's a day.